Right, so welcome everyone. This is the mock interview series, and with me I have Jamin Pathak. He will be the interviewer, and I'll be the candidate for this interview series. And um, before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you are an existing subscriber, press the bell icon. Okay, so let's get started. Hi, Jamin. How are you? I'm good, Rajesh. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Great. So, Rajnish, uh -huh. uh, my first question is on SOC deployment. Okay. What are the steps to build a SOC from scratch? Well, um, personally speaking, I mean, uh, if we want to build a SOC, we have to focus on few core elements. Uh, some say mm -hmm. th these are three, some say these are four, five, but I see it has majorly four elements. First, it has it has to be right set of people. Second, it has to be right set of processes. And then we have uh, 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 technologies. And then fourth would be the data sources. Okay. Uh, in the, the people, we have highly skilled. We require uh, skilled professionals. Uh, you know, starting with the security analyst to incident responder, to threat hunter, to forensic expert, and SOC manager. Or we could say as the SOC level one, then level two, level three, and the SOC manager. When you have SOC level one, they are nothing but taking care of threat management, looking at the live threats. Level two team basically involved in incident response, okay? And the level three team uh, take care of the proactive threat hunting. And uh, level two also deal with the DFIR, forensic activity and everything. Uh, SOC manager handle the entire operation, their coordination uh, with the different team, maybe legal team or maybe vulnerability management team or any other set of team as well. The second component is on the processes. Now, process is very important because in the process we have uh, the SOC should have process related to incident response plan, escalation procedures, threat intelligence integration, uh, security assessment. So this has to be there. The SOP should be built built as well. Uh, what should we do? Uh, how, uh, you know, if there is any incident or alert comes in, SOC level one perform the initial triage, and then they can assign it to the level two team. Uh, similarly, when it, when we talk about the third element, which is technology, that plays a very, very important role. Uh, the, the heart of the SOC is majorly two kind of a tools. First with the SIM and second is the EDR. SIM is security information uh, event management. There are multiple vendors involved with it. We have Splunk, we have got IBM Q Radar. Then we also have, uh, you know, Microsoft Sentinel tool. We have IDS and IPS tools involved as well. Uh, which uh, monitor any suspicious or uh, any kind of anomalous traffic in the network as well. We also have, we also require threat intelligence tools as well in the network. So, which, uh, which is orchestration, automation, and response tool, which automate a repetitive task, streamline the incident response process, orchestrate the entire workflow as well in the network. Uh, fourth, I would say, would be the data sources. Uh, we require data sources from different set of network. That could be network logs. That could be endpoint logs. That could be security logs and threat intelligence feeds as well. So these are the core components. If we keep building on, keep focusing on all these important elements, we can build this SOC from scratch. So yeah, that, that's what, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. So let me ask you uh, another question. So uh -huh. how you are keeping yourself updated with the latest cybersecurity threats and trends in this industry? Well, I would say, I mean, I, I personally, I, I don't have any uh, paid subscription. I just follow the uh, online resources. I, I subscribe to some free blogs and newsletters like dark reading, light reading. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, to learn about new kind of a threats. I visit cvdetails.com, exploitdb.com. So that's where I get to know about new vulnerabilities and um, try to learn about new threats. How does that work? 
even uh, different vendors also publish a very detailed report about different vulnerability like Fortigate, Cisco, CrowdStrike. They they provide a very good insight about different vulnerabilities as well. So yeah, that, that's how I learn about new threats and trend in the security industry altogether. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah, Rajnish, this is all I have for today. All right. Thank you so much, Jamin. Um, and thank you so much, everyone. Uh, if you have any question, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you.